So you've made this little doll here just to show us this exactly. This is the finished product. This is what we're aiming for, isn't it? Yes, I made her gamut. yesterday. And what we've got here, I've actually bought three. Oh. There's four in the range. Right. Um, these are all from Fred Aldous, and they're different skin tones and different hair colours and what have you. So something to suit everybody. Well, this is what really strikes me. You mentioned the different skin tones. So as we know, we do have a heavily Asian audience. And something that the little girls who possibly visit the studio say to me time and time again is that they can't find one that in their skin tone yeah. you know generally it seems so basic but all the ones on the shelves are all the sort of white are the yeah. white blonde haired blue eyed little girls and that's not really representative of the little girls out there yeah. so the thing that really struck me about this is fantastic because you can actually make a black and asian a, a, exactly. you know any any authenticity um, you want to at all so it's fantastic so they come like this in a kit and mm -hmm. everything you need is in here fantastic Even down, to a little plastic needle. This is so good because, it, I mean, something like this is what the kids want to get involved with, they want to do themselves, yeah. but it can be quite dangerous if you've got, uh, you know, sharp edges. Yeah. But with this, you can't look at this, you cannot hurt yourself, no matter how hard you do that. Can like you see there? It's not hurting. So any little children at all, you can, you know, and the mothers, they can be worry free that their, their little ones aren't going to hurt themselves. As long as they don't poke it in the eye, that's what well, you should yeah. watch for as well. I mean, I would do it under supervision. I yes. mean, it has uh, not suitable for under six yeah. on the back, but you know, if you're doing it with supervision. But it's nice to do it together. It's not just supervising them, yeah. but actually spending time with them yeah. and doing something together. Especially, you know, we've got the winter evenings, the weather's miserable, you know, just seven quid, you know. Yeah. It's it's they're so lovely. I I went in and I, I actually went in on Saturday and I had an idea of what I wanted to do for the show mm -hmm. today. And I saw these and I thought, I'm having these. They're, perfect. they're lovely. They're lovely. So in fact, do you want to tell people what we can do if they ring in today? Because we're going to do something wow, special. Wow, you lucky aren't guys we? at home, you I can know. actually win. We've got an option. You can either win this little dolly here that's already well, been done, which I think is it meant to represent me, but Candy? She's got the she's blonde actually hair. Called Emily, oh, but she, I think she should be called Amy. Well, my little sister's <laughs> called Emily, so it's close enough. But we can call it Amy for the uh, purposes of this yeah, programme. Yes, we can. So if you want to win an Amy doll, all you have to do is ring in and tell us why you should at home be allowed one of these dolls. So the one with the best answer is the person we'll be winging its way on to. Yep. And alternatively, if you don't want an Amy doll, I don't know why you wouldn't want an Amy doll because they're uh, <laughs> they're absolutely fantastic. You can actually win a kit. This to is make Molly. Your own doll. And this is Molly, this yes. one's called. You can call it what you want. That's the great of thing course. about this. You don't yeah. have to stick to the names. Yeah. The whole point is personalising it and calling it what you want. So if you want to win the kit and make it from scratch, if you want to be a bit lazy and win the doll, as I say, all you have to do is ring in with the best answer and best reason as to why you at home should benefit from one of these dolls. One of the things I loved about these kits is in the past when they've done felt ones, they don't always look that neat. No. What is beautiful about this is all the holes have been oh, cut that's for such you. So good because that's what puts me off stitching. Yeah, so and it can I'm look not like a, a sewer bit of a mess. at all. And mine looks exactly, and I am not a sewer. I know I do a lot of crafting, but sewing is not one of the things I do. This doll looks incredibly neat. That did actually strike me um, at the beginning. <laughs> but the but, holes I mean, look at are the all there. Everything is just so, so neat. So it doesn't look amateur. That's no, the thing. That's you make things yeah. yourself, you can be quite worried that it's going to look a bit messy and a bit of a joke, really. But this just looks so so neat and very very professional so you, know, you, you couldn't buy better i don't no. think and all it's so soft the hair, as well all, all the holes are there ready for you so you just sew it together fantastic and there's an instruction sheet if we just have a look at emily's instruction mm -hmm. sheet there the full instruction sheet and they're different for each one because they've got different clothes right okay and it just shows you all the pieces and tells you exactly what what you're doing so with it. So it's idiot proof basically. You can just follow yeah. those quite simply yeah. and have the stuffings there. I'm on a rainy afternoon. I've got all that left over from stuffing right. her. I could have made her a bit bigger, maybe, but Well, all this talking, should we get down to yes. doing it? Yes. Should we actually show you at home how you can do this yourselves? Right. What we're going to do, there's a couple of different stitches you use with this. Okay. Uh, one is back stitch and right. one is called blanket stitch. Okay. And what we're doing, this stitch here that gives us this really nice edge all the way around. It looks a little bit almost like hair. I know that sounds silly, but doesn't it? The way yeah. that the, the little strands, it's almost like strands of hair, so it's fantastic. This is called blanket stitch. Right. And this is a, uh, a stitch that's used in a lot of sort of felt products. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do the edges together because the edges don't fray. They're sort of something with felt. It doesn't tend to fray. So you don't need to finish off the edge, but this just covers it and makes Brilliant. it really well, nice. Brilliant. Well, why don't you just show the viewers how to do that? We've actually got a caller on the line, Oh, right, lovely. Hello there. Hello. How are you today? Uh, all right, thanks. And what's your name, please? Uh, Mrs. Khan. Mrs. Khan? Yes. Now, Mrs. Khan, have you been enjoying the show? Yes. Good, good, good. And do you want to win one of these lovely dolls? Do you want the doll or the set? Uh, 
Uh, I want the kit, please. You want the kit? Why on earth do you not want the doll? Why on earth do you not want Amy? Because <laughs> she wants to make it herself. <laughs> That's, That's lovely. I like my own. Pardon? I'd like to make my own for you my You like to make your own. Well, I don't blame you. And Candy's going to show you how you can do that. Now, here's the kit you'll actually be winning. As Candy says, you've got all the stuffing. You've actually got the toys. All um, the little all beads. All the fabric. All the beads. You've got absolutely everything in there. And are you making it for somebody special or are you making it for yourself? Uh, for my niece. For your niece, that's oh, lovely. Oh, that'd What's be lovely. What's her name? Iman. Sorry? Iman. Iman. Well, I'm sure she's a very lucky girl. She probably doesn't even know she's going to receive this fantastic gift, but uh, I'm sure she'll love it. Will you do me a favour and let us know how it goes, if, uh, if Candy's tips actually help you? I was going to say, if, if she takes a picture and uploads it and sends it in to us, that would be brilliant. Fantastic. Would you do that for would us? Would you do that for us, Mrs Khan? Yes. Yeah, you're going to do that. It's fantastic. That'd be lovely. Well, enjoy Thank the rest you. of the show. Well, that's nice, yeah, isn't that's it? Yeah, that's lovely. So the kit's gone. Right. The, the Amy doll hasn't gone. So if you would like to win one of these lovely Amy dolls, it's so soft. It's uh, you can see it there, and it just looks a very, very happy doll, which is uh, she does. how She's Amy should always sweetie. be, I think. <laughs> so if you want to win one of those, it's so so easy. Just ask Mrs. Carn. All she has to do is ring up, and now one of those kits is winning its way to her. And her little niece is going to have a present. Isn't that's lovely, lovely, isn't it? Right. I'm left-handed, okay. so this is how I do this, and we work from back to front. Right. And because all the holes are already made, you saw how easily mm -hmm. that went straight through. And you pull it through, this is probably a little bit longer than I'd normally work with on air, but then thread it through there, yep. and then oh, it that looks gives you so a stitch. Easy. That's lovely. I'll show you another one, and then you can have a go, Amy. Right, okay. Just pull it through, and then when it's nearly there, just thread it through there. Fantastic. So just before you've got to the end, you have to yeah. remember to do the loop. So I'll have a so go of that. Back to front. Right. And obviously, candy makes it look so easy. But the holes are already there. So they are already there. It's just yep. my eyesight that's not, unfortunately. Got my there we are. <laughs> <laughs> so ring it round. Oh, a little bit there. Have I done this right? Yep. Now just thread it through. Thread it through there. That's it. Oh, she's trying to wave hello to me. <laughs> there we are. Done. Is that done? Yeah, that's it. I mean, it just Fantastic. Sits on there. That was actually a lot easier than I made it look. I think that's just me being <laughs> a little bit difficult. Fantastic. Okay, so once we've got the head done, then what's the next step? Right, then what we start doing is putting in the stuffing. Right. Now, what I did. That's I, something I would tend to forget, is to, you know, to do that before you sort of finish the, the product. Yeah. Just to get carried away with the stitching, isn't it? Because what you do is you actually stitch in the arms and legs as you go along. Mm hmm. And what I found was the easiest way to do it, and this is this is why this is good, because I've this will help Mrs. Khan, because yeah. I've done it, and I'll tell you the way it worked for me. I worked all the way round, then when I got to here, I went round the edge, doing yeah. the basket stitch, sorry, blanket stitch, yeah. went all round. When I got to here, I then put all the stuffing in. Right. And then if you see there's the stitches here. Mm -hmm. I did the back stitch along there and that right. secures the arm. So you look, save that to the end? Yeah, and you do it as you go along and that was much easier. If I take her dress off, excuse me, on early morning uh, TV. Amy doesn't normally get undressed on early morning TV. I know, I know. <laughs> if you see there, I stuffed her arm. Right. And then I sewed along to secure it. So the stuffing doesn't, she doesn't end up with a... So a baggy arm. Exactly, it doesn't all stick out <laughs> the ends as well. So yeah. you've got that nice closed stitch there and you and do that. And you do the same with the legs. So all the limbs. So as you're going round, put your stuffing in and then stitch along there in the back stitch. Fantastic. The instructions are actually on here mm -hmm. for how to do the stitches. They are really, really simple. Right. But we'll, we'll show but you some back stitches But also remember that all well. our videos are uploaded onto YouTube yeah, and also onto People our website, on which there. is www.shine-tv.co.uk. So if you are watching this and then decide to give it a go, but you get a little bit of muddle, don't worry. Put the laptop on, put the computer on, you can watch it back. That's you can it. pause it pause and so me. forth. So you've got candy <laughs> in your own living room. So it can be easier. So we'll, we'll get you dressed again because it's a little bit good, curled. Good, good. And so the buttons come with it and all the cotton and everything. Fantastic. So if you want to win that doll, remember, please, please, please phone in and tell us why you would like to give Amy a nice home. And uh, I'm sure she'll brighten up your day. So uh, it's She's a good lovely. little prize She's a little to have. cutie there, isn't Very she? Very soft as well. So it's great for children as well. Because they can't I wouldn't hurt say themselves with it. But not too young, maybe. Because having the yeah. little eyes, um, which you, you sew on with cotton, yeah. I'd be, I wouldn't give it to a, a little one. No, because they could pull it off and yeah, eat I would say it, it is and do whatever. Under, under Okay. Let me just get that needle off there. There's a needle in every packet, but let me just get that one off there, and okay. we'll do some. We'll do a little bit of back stitch. I'll show you how to do to do some back stitch. Let's get some yellow. Okay. So well, while you're up. sorting that out, Candy, we're just going to have a look at the materials that we oh, use yeah. to make these beautiful dolls. Okay.
Okay, well, unfortunately, we're running out of time, Candy. But uh, you've shown us how easy it can actually be. And Derek, have you seen these dolls? How Wonderful. Are they? It's lovely, isn't it? All of the detail, I think it's nice. Nice, bright colours as well. beautiful. I like the Amy doll. It's lovely. Oh, I'm glad somebody does because nobody <laughs> else rang in for it. It's a little bit disappointing. Oh, well, you can keep it on your desk. Possibly. Or maybe you could have it, Derek, as a nice reminder of me. I could, yes. But uh, you can see the stitching. It looks very, very professional, doesn't it? It's, it's very, very, very good. I, I would expect nothing less from our lovely Candy. <laughs> <laughs> well,